cook in Louisiana style. I finally got around to getting one of these big boys. And this is a cast iron skillet. Very heavy. Now this is a brand new skillet and a lot of you don't know the first thing about seasoning a cast iron skillet and it's very simple to do. But it requires a lot of maintenance. There's the ingredient, shortening. Now I know what you're saying. Well, when you showed us how to season a wok, you used sesame oil. That's for a wok and that's for fine Asian cooking. But this, you gotta understand, settlers in the early turn of the century used to use these when they were out on camps, when they were out traveling around. Cowboys use these on the range and you can use them in your kitchen. Now, since this is a brand new skillet, I just now pulled the label off. You don't want to start using it right away and I'll tell you why because when you get this, it's gonna have a layer or a coating of anti-rust chemical that will prevent it from rusting while it's in transit and when it's in storage on your store shelves. What you need to do is then very, very, very hot water. It has to be hot, hot, hot water. If you can, if you have to, boil some water, about two cups worth of water, and just place it right into your skillet. But this water is hot enough, it should be work. It should work. Now what you're gonna do, Get some very mild detergent or dish soap. I don't want to get the harsh stuff. The milder the better. And do not use this ever on your skillets. Ever. That is a no-no. What you want to do is get some mild detergent and just kind of coat the sponge. Like that. And wash this out completely. By doing so, you will have washed off the coating of anti-rust chemical that they use in storing these guys when you get them brand new in your store. And get all over it. On the outside, the inside, get all over. The handle too. Because every bit of this is going to be seasoned. I'll show you what to season and what not to season too when that time comes. Even the handle. Do the handle too. Alright. Now, once you got that scrubbed out, rinsed out, rinse it until there is no suds, no bubbles, no nothing. Go for the other side. Make sure it's all nice and clean. You also never know who handled that in the store either. So anytime you get anything new, always wash it before you use it. The same goes double for these skillets. All right. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Now what we need to do is get something to dry it with. I have. It's piddling, it's little, but it'll work. Because all the other towels are downstairs in the dryer, and I have to go down and get them when I can. So with a cloth or with some towels, dry this puppy out completely. Make sure there's not one single drop of water, not one single bit of moisture, because we are going to be working with oil. Now, we're, usually when you mix water and oil, the water and oil will separate. They do not mix, they do not go well together. In fact, oil and anything do not mix because anything added to oil won't be soluble enough for it to mix and it just separates. Have you ever seen uh, uh, Italian salad dressing? It separates vinegar from the oil. Natural peanut butter. The oil separates from the peanut. Anything dealing with oil you'll see lots of separation. So make sure this thing is lean dry. And of course I use the best name in cast iron, Lodge. Lodge cast iron skillets are the best. And they're not expensive. This 12 inch cost about 20 bucks. If you have 20 bucks, head on down to Walmart or any places that sell these. And voila, nice and dry, except for that spot there. Okay, is it dry, is it dry, 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 good. Inspect it over once or twice in case you're not sure. And then come over here to the stove. What we're gonna do, move that over for our chicken later, okay? What we're gonna do, we are going to take a spoon, and we're gonna spoon out some shortening. Let's get a couple of good spoonfuls there. One, two, and let's get another one there, three. Okay. This is really a soft shortening. It's been up there for a while and our AC went out, so yeah, it's going to be a little soft. Okay, not enough of the shortening there, good. Now, grab some paper towels, because you're going to need these. What we're going to do is 
turn that on high. There it goes. As hot as you can get it. And uh, if you're using an electric stove, be sure to watch carefully because electric stoves will have hot uh, heat spots and that can easily crack your skillet. But using gas, gas flame, and wait until all of that oil is melted. And then once it's fully melted, we're going to turn off the fire and let the oil cool for a little bit. And what we're going to do is take this towel and we're going to spread it all over inside, around the outside, and your handle anywhere except for the direct bottom where the flame is going to go. And I'll tell you why. Because if you season that part, then anytime you use that, you're going to smell smoke. You're going to see, smell, smell, and see smoke. That's not going to be very good. Now, when the shortening is fully melted, we'll go to the next step. But I would also like to remind you too that if you uh, plan on getting a new cast iron skillet, feel free to cook a lot of greasy meats in there to get it really seasoned. I'm talking about bacon, sausage, sausage patty, sausage links, greasiest food you can find and slap it in there and start cooking it up after it's been seasoned primarily because you want to definitely get a lot of season into the pores that are in your cast iron skillet. And what's going to happen is all this oil is going to go into the pores when they open up in the heat and all of those, all of this oil is going to just go right into the pores and then when you cool it down, the pores will close. Therefore, you have made your skillet non-stick. And it's a little trick of the trade that us cast iron skillet fans know about. So, let's come over here and see how well we're doing. Added a little bit too much oil, but that's okay because we're going to use a lot of this around and in and on our skillet. Now, here's the extra thing we're going to need to come on with me. As I procure the largest cookie sheet you can find. Now, if you don't have a large cookie sheet, then a strip of uh, aluminum foil would do just nicely. Now, be careful of the handle because it will heat up. That's a lot of oil. So what we're going to do is probably have a lot of excess. That's all right. That is okay. What you don't want is for your oil to stay with a pool inside because that will ruin your cast iron skillets and will uh, pretty much become a major eyesore. But if you know how to take care of a cast iron skillet, they will last you a lifetime. You can actually pass this down from generation to generation if you've got a family. All right, it's fully melted. Now, turn the fire off. And what we're going to do is, while it's still hot, take our towel here and be very careful because that oil is going to be hot, but not too hot to where it won't be untouchable. And what we're going to do is let all that oil soak right into that towel there, just like that. And what we're going to do is get out as much of that oil onto the towel as possible and be careful because it will be hot. I feel the heat there. Now this is probably a little overboard for oil, but you're going to be oiling this whole skillet and you're going to need all the oil that you can, so get it all over there. You might want to wait until a said number of uh, minutes for it to everything to cool down too, so that would be helpful, but since I'm able to take the heat, I don't recommend reaching your hand into hot oil, but if it is too hot to handle, Wait for about five to ten minutes for the oil to cool before you do this. And what we're going to do is take a towel and go around the inside, sopping up as much of the oil as possible on the paper towel. And if you have to, discard that because that's dripping mess there. And we are going to there we go, get another paper towel. You can never have too much oil, but if you do, it's fixable. Okay, now. There we go, sop it up there, there we go, there we go. Okay, now to properly season the cast iron skillet, take that shortening and just go all the way around. Boy, this is still hot. <laughs> all the way around the inside, several times rather. And around the inside, around that area too. Saving the handle for last because you gotta actually grip the handle and all this helps to be prepared with an oven mitt. Use an oven mitt too, if that handle is too hot, then just put on an oven mitt. You might look like a sissy while you do this with an oven mitt on your hand, but it will save you a lot of third degree burns in the long run. Alright, let's take this skillet over here to the sink. Now we need the excess oil to drip out into the sink as we do our, uh, not there, our edge. 
You got to do the outside edge too because you want that to season as well. Go all the way around the outside of your skillet. Ooh, that's hot. Watch out, man. Watch out what you're touching. You just go all the way around until it's nice and glossy and shiny. Try not to get to the bottom where the fire goes, but getting all the way around the edge, just like that. See how nice and shiny that looks? Yeah. I'm trying to grip this to where it won't burn my fingers off. With it. There we go. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Mmm. Looking better already. All right. Make sure you got all the way around the side. And this, after every use, once you get your cast iron skillet seasoned, after every use you want to do this. But when you clean it, always remember to use a very light abrasive or a very light sponge, nothing harsh, but just a regular sponge like that and some very mild detergent. Okay, get that handle good. Everything's nice and glossy and shiny. Alright, turn it upside down, get rid of that towel. Everything is nice and coated beautifully. Now what we're going to do, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of you are asking now, why put it upside down under a cookie sheet? What you don't want to do is have all the oil form a pool because once that happens, that thing is pretty much going to be very difficult to get a pool out of there. It's going to stain like nobody's business and it's just going to be an eyesore. It's going to be difficult to work with. It's not going to be the same. It's going to be a very shoddy job at seasoning this thing. But the purpose of putting this in the oven upside down is to have all of your oil gradually drip. And we're using the cookie sheet to catch the dripping so that way it doesn't get in your oven. Now many people have different methods of seasoning their cast iron skillets. But I find that just putting it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours, letting it just bake in there, and then when it gets cold enough to handle, you remove it from the oven. But you pretty much, let me get the rest of that oil off out there too on that. You're really not supposed to season the bottom of that, but <laughs> I got oil on there by mistake, but that will be all right. Whoa. <laughs> A little jumpy there. <laughs> a little jumpy? A little bit. Get as much of that off as you possibly can because that's where the fire is going to go. You don't really need to season that part. And I am encouraging everybody that has a cast iron skillet to use it regularly. Use it for bacon, eggs, sausage, burgers, you name it, even pancakes. Uh, even if you're just cooking something like uh, you know, hamburger helper, you can make that in there if you want to. Fish, chicken, anything, pork chops. Ground beef, the sky is the limit when you got one of these. And uh, once that is, let me see, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, that should be good. Whew. All right, now, usually it takes longer to preheat an oven, but it's okay. Thank goodness for uh, gas. Yep. Okay, what we're gonna do is take our cast iron skillet and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately two hours. Now what's going to happen in there is all those pores are going to open right up. Now since you have it upside down, all of that oil is going to drip slowly. And uh, as it's dripping, the pores are going to open up and it's going to grab onto that oil. And it's going to close them back up when it's, when it's uh, cold. So what you're going to do is after two hours, just turn the oven off and leave it in there. And then when it cools down, about another hour later, you can reach in and grab it and you won't get burned. Then remove it from the oven and you got yourself a seasoned skillet. That is the best way to season a cast iron skillet, let me tell you. Well, I goofed on the time. I said two hours, I meant to say one hour. One hour is all you need for 375 degrees. If you're cooking at a 325, that's two hours, maybe even an hour and a half. But uh, for the time that we uh, put that cast iron skillet in there, it's good for one hour. Let's check the results. Make sure that you can handle the handle and it's not too hot. Ooh, now that is shiny, look at that. Nice and shiny and you can feel that all that oil is in your skillet, ready to be used. And that's pretty much how you season a cast iron skillet. Now when you use it, rinse it out just very, very lightly, or even scrape it clean with a metal spatula, and then just heat that thing up again, take some regular oil and just season it back up again, and then put it away. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to bake it, you don't need to do anything. It's just when you first use it. 
but if you've already used it, if you've already seasoned it, and you used it once, all you gotta do is rinse it or wipe it clean or scrape it clean, however you wish to do it, and then take some oil and then just season it back up again and then put it away. And that's all you do, and then you're ready for the next cast iron skillet meal. So, now that you know how to season your cast iron skillets, enjoy some really fine cast iron cooked food. I know you will. I still love you, man.